Hey, this is Mike. Been a while. Uh, been out and about. Went down to Sydney, Melbourne. Anyway, I'm here in Los Angeles now. And trying to get things back on track, as always. Life's still getting a little interesting, but it's alright. So today was the big uh, announcement from Apple. The new iPhone. Except it wasn't just a new iPhone. It was multiple new iPhones. We had the new iPhone 8, the new iPhone 8 Plus, and which really wasn't a really big secret since everything seemed to leak out ahead of time, but what was supposed to be the big secret uh, was the iPhone X, not iPhone X, even though it's a letter. It's the iPhone X, sort of like uh, Apple's OS X. Um, I haven't played with the devices. I haven't seen them. I watched a keynote just like you, and I'm kind of curious what everybody thinks. Uh, first, I was a little underwhelmed with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Um, Best I can see is they look like an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus with wireless charging, uh, a glass back, and a faster processor. That's really the extent of the upgrade. So would I upgrade my existing iPhone 7 Plus for an 8? Um, I don't think so. Now one, full disclaimer, my iPhone is actually provided to me by my employer. I'm not eligible for an upgrade till next year, so the decision's kind of the discussion's kind of uh, moot there. Um, but I'm, I'll but be honest, I'm a little bit underwhelmed with the iPhone 10. also. Let me get the positive stuff out of the way. One, the, uh, the facial scanner on it is wicked cool. Now, I've got, as you know, my personal phone, a Galaxy S8 Plus, which also has a facial scanner. I look at it, it unlocks. It's not the most secure thing in the world. You can unlock it, in theory, with a photo. I know you could just point at somebody's face and unlocks. It's kind of a best guess with photos it, with a front-facing camera. What Apple's done is they've taken this thing called this dot projector and an infrared camera, and it makes a 3D model of your face. And in theory, you shouldn't be able to fool it nearly as well, nearly as easy as you can fool this thing, uh, the Galaxy S8 Plus. Um, and that's great if it works. Uh, the demo looked great. I'm waiting to try it and get my hands on it. Um, but where Apple gives, Apple takes away. Okay, Remember they took away the headphone jack, which by the way, still didn't come back. I was kind of hoping that would be the big surprise. Hey, we're sorry, we'll give you the headphone jack back. They didn't. Such is life. But the iPhone X has also taken something away. Uh, your fingerprint reader. So I would have thought if they couldn't fit it on the front, which they didn't because there's a full edge-to-edge -edge display, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, I thought they would at least put, like what Samsung did, put one on the back, right? And they didn't. Ah, my phone just unlocked. Um, so there's no fingerprint reader. So your choice is, if you like the Touch ID, you got to go for the iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to live with the facial recognition on the iPhone 10. Excuse me, I'm tired. Going from Atlanta to Australia, back to Atlanta to Los Angeles, I am completely on the wrong time zone. I, I mean, I don't even know what time it is anymore. Um, and then I spent, I was up late last night dealing with that hurricane in Atlanta trying to figure out, are we getting damaged or are we not getting damaged? Everything's all right. Moving on. Um, so, great facial recognition scanner. No touch ID. Um, in addition, it's got a really, it looks like a very improved version of the dual lens camera. So I'm waiting to see how that that looks. I want to see some some samples of camera and stuff. And one of the things they added in was the ability to adjust the background blur and portrait mode, which is something that Samsung's added into the Note 8. Which brings up my next point. Uh, iPhone 10 or the Note 8? I don't know. I haven't played with either one yet. I'm debating whether to upgrade my S8 Plus for a Note 8. I really like the stylus and I like the fact that the Note 8 has a dual camera, which is the one thing that I miss on the S8 Plus that my iPhone 7 Plus has. Um, and I'll tell you the one thing that bothers me, and it might not bother me long term, but my initial impressions, and I'm going to try to put a picture up here if I can. Um, the iPhone 10 has this, they're calling it a notch. And at the top of, you'll see it in the corner, at the top of the display there's a cutout where there's a camera bar. That camera bar holds the camera, obviously, uh, the infrared camera, the dot projector, the speaker, um, and all the other things that it needs for uh, 
for operation on external devices, but it intrudes into the display. So on, in, again, you'll see this in the picture, but on the top right and left, you got these little sections of display right to the right and the left of the camera bar, which I guess Apple wants to put up notifications or whatever, but to me it's just annoyingly distracting. It's Apple's even got a term for it in their uh, documentation. They call it ears. I guess they look like ears. Um, I don't know. I personally, I would have rather they did what like Samsung did and what LG did and everybody else has tried an edge display and just just like made it flat across the top. It's, I, I, it's less distracting. Now, I'm not getting too down on it. It may grow on me and I may say, oh, that's kind of cool later. Um, but right now I don't like it. Oh, one other thing. I reserve the right to change my mind and say I love this thing after I actually see it. So we'll see. And I guess even in the developer docs I was looking, Apple's even um, discouraging people. Like if I was writing a program, I'd just make the whole top section black so I don't have to see it. Uh, that's apparently against Apple's guidelines. You can't do that. So anyway, the last part is it is expensive. So yes, you're paying monthly payments now for your phone. No more subsidies, but and you're not paying the thousand dollars up front. And in a lot of cases you can trade in. But when the price goes up, so does your payment. So whereas an iPhone two years ago was like twenty five or thirty dollars a month, this thing's gonna be like forty two, forty six dollars a month. Now if you're to have a family and you've got two teenagers and a wife or whatever, your phone bill's gonna get real expensive real fast if you gotta keep making payments on things. So I'm at the point it's like can the phone I have last a little bit longer? Uh, and in my case with the iPhone 7, yes. And if I decide to trade in my S8 Plus for a Note 8, because actually my son kind of needs a new phone, I might give him this one. Um, but if I trade that in, I'm going to try to keep that for a couple years. I mean, I'll still pick up stuff t for the YouTube channel, but it's, um, it's getting real expensive, you know. Anyway, that's it. No real opinion on the phone, just very interesting and things I like. My initial impressions of that notch didn't like it. Uh, still, no headphone jack would have preferred a fingerprint reader on the 10 and a little underwhelmed with what they've done with the 8. Um, some people are going to love it, especially if you have an iPhone 6 or earlier. You're definitely going to want to upgrade at least to the 8. Uh, but if you got one of the models from the last year or two, I'm not so sure you should be knocking down Apple's door to upgrade. Just my opinion. Curious what you think. Uh, more stuff coming soon. Glad to be back online, guys. Kind of missed you. Take care. This is Mike.